Hi, this is a demonstration of Clojure development with Vim, and it's especially highlighting the Vim Fireplace plugin, which I did not write, but which you should definitely check out. I am going to have a sample project with two files in it that I generated with line new to do's, to do's being the name of the project. Here I am inside of the project, and I am going to start up a REPL. As soon as that REPL starts up, I should be able to connect to it with Vim, and I should be able to send commands to it and receive responses from it. So let's do that. So I'm going to open a file with the phrase test in it with the control P plugin. So here's our test file. I have some sample to do's as test data, and I'm testing the completed function, which just takes a collection and filters it based on the completed attribute. So I can evaluate some code to see if this test is going to work by using CPP to evaluate the expression under the cursor. The result shows up in the bottom left, so I have two sample to-dos in total. Great, well what happens if I run the function I'm testing to filter them? I have zero. Well, that doesn't seem exactly correct because by milk is supposed to be completed. So. Let's see, I wonder if I don't understand the count function. I can look up its docs by using shift K. Count purports to return the number of items in the collection. Seems reasonable. If I need more information, I can go to its source and by doing left square bracket D. Okay, well that looks like actually what I expected. I think count is maybe not even the problem. Maybe I should go look at my code. So in the to-do namespace, I can say gf to go to file, and so here's the completed function. Ah, so I'm filtering based on com not completed, but a misspelled word, so let me go ahead and change that. I'm going to filter based on another attribute of a to-do, and so I can actually reload this form by hitting cpp in the same way. I wouldn't even need to have saved that file, and I'm going to go back with control 6 to my test and reload this test here. Aha, so now I'm getting all to-dos back because I'm filtering based on an attribute that all to-dos have. Not what I intended. So let me change it to be correct. Filter based on completed. And I can also require everything, including the implementation, by saying require bang. That gets the reload all flag to require. And that should have required everything. And now I'm going to rerun all the tests and prove that they work as intended. So there's more information available on Vim Fireplace in the excellent doc page. And definitely do check it out if you're trying to do closure development with Vim. Thanks a lot.